Alright, welcome back to Eastern Clients and the Eastern Trainees. This is the next installment of the series of the pilot training and this will focus on taxiing, lining up the plane and preparations you do prior to lining up on the runway and on the runway. It depends on the airline, what I do. Um, I'd advise that the airline, whoever's in charge of these pilots, will make um, basically instructionals for or checklists for the pilots to do. So I'm assuming you have done everything in the previous segment. So now, with the engines on, you would have conferred with your co-pilot and everything would have been good. It's time to move the plane. Now, if you have the park brakes on, which you would if you had been tugged out, turn those off okay now due to sleeping parts we don't know when this will be fixed um, of course usually the plane would move on idle it doesn't move on idle at the moment but what you can do simply is just move your steering wheel till you start seeing the plane basically move and basically you can move on idle with no issues um, when taxiing you do not need any more than um, you don't need any more than 10 percent for any taxi in my opinion 20 at the very max um, know that your taxi the taxi speed laws in most airports is 30 knots at max so you no need to go over that on your way you may if you haven't already done so make sure to check that your surfaces all work Okay, the same here. Alright. Now of course you should have been paying attention. You would have done this actually really um, after the engines had been turned on. Just not actually when you're moving, but if you haven't, it's the best time to do it then. Okay, we'll just do the rudder. Great. Okay, now we're gonna keep heading. Okay, you can see I'm barely, I've barely put the throw up. Um, so I've just not needed to. I'm gonna put a bit of power as we're coming into this turn. Light turn, no need to go full max on the Tyler as you'll start skidding. Okay, there you go. And it's just a nice clean turn. sure that you're set up if you haven't already um, for takeoff zero which is in your controls list okay zero will do the flight mode if you don't know that already zero will do the flight mode okay and we're in takeoff mode here if you haven't already set up your Foria, I advise you do that now. Set your flex mode, 88% for me. Me is uh, what I like. Press go, make sure it's confirmed green. 45% I like here. Confirmed green there. I can set my the speed I want to maintain um, when it's safe to do so. There as well. Um, once I take off, then I will press this button after I'm in the air safely. Also make sure that you're aware of what mode you're in, so at the moment of course I'm in keyboard mode, 
and make sure if you are in mild mode and you're going to be using that, that you're not in free cam mode like I am now. If come the future updates when we have weight, make sure you have set your trim for takeoff because we don't have that in the moment, the trim will be zero. Okay, with everything clear there, it's time for takeoff. Get yourself in the right camera mode you feel comfortable with. I personally do like the cockpit mode. Okay, and the first mode for me is to press warm. After around 50 knots, and then flex. Just try and maintain as possible the center. Wait for your V1 cooldown. V1, and there we go. Light takeoff. Try and maintain it pitch out with positive rate gears up when it is safe to do so go into your request modes so that you can safely turn on the board you'll notice the engine will spool up so try and maintain that speed you set or may spool down if you have a lower speed and that is the takeoff system. Now, you must check my video after this, which is what to do when the bank protections come on. Um, if any protection comes on, basically make sure, for example, I will show you an example now. I'm gonna bank very, very high and the protection is gonna come on, okay? Bank protection. You see, I have no control. Now if you go into the log, request mode is on, press the middle mouse button and you will receive controls of your plane again, okay? And the controls of that. It's advised, but of course if you do get stuck in the request mode, okay, um, to switch the keyboard modes after you turn the red trim off, okay? So for example, let's, let's um, get back into the uh, I can switch into keyboard mode here, turn request trim off, and then keyboard mode will give me. Now, of the two control uh, modes, keyboard mode will give you a instant response in terms of um, how everything done is in, in the fly-by-wire by Airbuses. You, the sides that command a pitch rate or a bank rate, okay? The further you move the side stick, the more um, you reach the maximum rate, okay, so say the maximum rate is 500, I don't know, uh, 500 um, vertical speed up, okay, if you have max side stick up, that will give you 500, if you only have it a quarter way up, then that will give you 200, uh, 125, okay, um, vertical speed, so the mouse mode is the closest to the side stick in terms of yielding that, so see the response here the response is only instant when I go you know fall down okay in the keyboard mode the response is literally instant it will go 500 instantly because of course there's no way to like lightly press the, the, the keyboard button to get that rate okay so if you feel that your mouse mode response is you're not used to that or you might feel that you're not happy with it switch the key on there, okay? Right, that's pretty much everything here. Um, that is pretty much everything here. The advice is never to use the frost boost button unless you come off cruise or if you have a really short runaway that you really realistically shouldn't be using it if you can be on, but if you have to. But never use it in the store or in the air because it's just really stupid and you will, of course, put the plane into um, a circumstance it can't protect you from. But that's pretty much everything. If you want to use the autopilot, my advice is to um, put the plane in somewhere it can fly normally. If you want to do pilot switching, make sure that Euphoria is turned off and make sure your autopilot is turned off. 
and then you can pile the switch okay um, if I do hear a bit of issues in changing interchanging between pilot mode um, I will make a slight edit to the local script because I did change um, the default mode which was keyboard mode um, to mouse mode again um, and now I've realized maybe pilot transfer may yield to something not so nice if um, the pilot's being switched in is not quick but if I get reports on pilot switch in terms of that I will change it simply as a simple fix. Um, other than that, um, that's great. If you're going to use the autopilot, pitch the plane to somewhere between 0 degrees and 2 degrees. Okay, the autopilot is pretty much on now. And then when you're ready, um, let's say we're a few thousand. That plane to pitch down. The plane will pass 3000 to go and maintain because it's setting itself up and then it will reach 3000 again. Okay, so for the first time of using the uh, autopilot, the first time you switch it on, it will miss what you set first because it has to set itself. And then after that, it will always respond to whatever verbal speed you set it or whatever altitude you set it to. Okay. So that's pretty much this video, thank you for watching and best of luck.